are you, where are you from, and what do you guys come up with? Uh, I'm Jill Raymond. I'm from Rosenberg, Texas, and I teach at First Colony Middle School. Uh, we came up with using the cards two different ways, doing them in a relay, so we could put them out running back and forth to get your card, bring it back, so you, it's a race, and then tic-tac-toe, so you have a team with red, team with yellow, team with blue, and it's you know three in a row by your color, so you have the, it's set up, and they just got to run back and forth. If they do the exercise, they go put it in the tic-tac-toe slot. Awesome. All right, next team. It's very good, very good. <laughs> Coach Nice from Baines. What we had talked about was doing it like a card game, where if they <clears throat> they go out and they have to do so many to acquire five cards. If you do the hard, you get say a ten or a jack or a king. Or if you did a middle, it would be a middle of the route, like a seven. And if you did something easy, like a two or a three, and you come back and kind of play Texas Hold'em or five card whatever stud, it's where you play in your best. So that the, you know, the higher level, the more you're rewarded by better cards. And then if you get, you know, then just play your hand out. Are you saying you'd actually use a real deck of cards with it? Could, to where it, their reward from that spot would be a king. Got it. And they come back and then play your best five. Cool. Awesome. You could also, the, the cards have numbers one through ten, so I, I'm sure you yeah, could also. Yeah, I mean, like associate, you know, if you did, it, break it down even more so than like 15, 30, and 45, but say, you know, if you only did five, then you get a two. If you ah, did cool. so many more, you'd get a three to where aces would be, you know, the hard or even harder than hard. Very cool. I love it. Awesome. What's next, guys? What do you got?